Thanks for staying with us. So another topic this morning um, that caught our attention on social media was actually on an X. And it was a man that posted it, a video of three sisters who allegedly seized and refused to release uh, the corpse of their late brother to his wife and the children for the past five years. And this mm -hmm. happened in Nibo, Aqua, Oka, South Local Government Area of Nibu. Anambra. Nibo. Mm -hmm. um, South local um, government area of Anambra State, where the three sisters and their late brother hails from. It was gathered that three sisters who operate a prayer ministry seized up the entire mm -hmm. property of the late brother and denied the wife her and her children access to them since 2019, when the deceased died after the protracted illness caused by an accident. Now, there are various levels here. Issues of culture, Issues of the role of the wife in the home, the role of the husband, because a husband who has full um, control of his family can make certain arrangements or even or empower his wife enough to take certain charges, even if he's alive or dead. And also the role of the family in this whole. What are your thoughts on this? Because, I mean, one of the things I like about this is that we try to educate and learn from each other. So you can call us on 081-0761-679. Zero nine zero two four one six three four four zero. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read the tweet. The bearer me I know usually, it is the wife that takes full charge when somebody dies. Um, I've heard stories where somebody dies in Lagos, and somebody will come from the village, either from the north, from the east, from the from the, from the, from the, from the west, come and carry the corpse and say no, the person must be buried in their home. Especially when the, the husband says, or the person says, I'd rather be buried in Lagos. There's always that back and forth. Mm. Um, and then there's always the conversation that, no, the wife is in charge. Or no, the family, the head of the family is in charge. In your own areas, how did you take this story? Let me start with you, Tokwe. Culture. The, the thing is, we have not defined our culture. And we, for some people, they've, they feel they've modernized. But yet, the culture still has a very strong part to play in how we do our things, how we do weddings. I was talking to someone who wants to get married, and he said because she's the first daughter in their culture, she needs to get married. In the village, her, her father has nothing to say. He's the daughter of the family. The husband-to-be must travel all the way to the village to get to seek the hand in marriage. It can't happen. Even though the, the father was like, I, in my heart, I want you to do it here, but I don't even have a choice, my hands are tied. These family members, they went to go and see the village. She has never heard, heard them before. She's never, they've not even come to Lagos before. They don't even know her. But the culture is for you to get married as the first daughter of, from this village, you must go to the village to do the She's wedding to the ceremony. ceremony. Took, well, so the cultures, you must understand, you can't mm -hmm. fight the culture. There's a particular burial that should have taken place. The person died since last year, they've not buried. Why? He said the woman did not participate in her husband's burial. And so they cannot bury her in her father's house. She was buried in her husband's house. And they must go and do the right. So the children now have to go and do the right that the mother did not do when she was alive before yes. they can bury her. So there are cultures that are seemingly complicated, but they, they were, they, they, they were they originated for a reason. They were originated for a reason because sometimes if you don't see yourself, you might marry your cousin. You might marry your family. People have gone far and wide. So there are many reasons that culture came up. If the culture does not repress or dehumanizes, it's a culture I feel like we should continue. But if a, cult if, if a part of that culture is repressing or dehumanizing, then we can review it. So in this case, this is not just about culture. In the case of this one, this I feel this is, is a bit of oppression in this. Five years is too long, especially when they've taken over Which the more? husband's property. Which more will take it? The if it is just that they took the, 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 the cops. But they also took over the husband's property. So I feel there's oppression. So it's the sisters now that held on to the couple yes. and refused to release to the wife. Yes. How many said they are calling three, three witches? I don't yes. know. But they own it prayer ministry. And they own prayer ministry. So I, I don't know. So I think, yeah, this yes. so I think, <laughs> no, so I, I, I think this stems from um, religion rather than culture, okay. right? Because if there are three women. Or <laughs> the religion of wickedness. That That's what I'm saying, because if they actually run a, a church, is that prayer ministry? Okay, pray, okay, okay, prayer ministry. Yeah. So I want to believe that, uh, that it's coming from what, that, that angle, right? Not necessarily culture. Because five years is such a long time. Mm -hmm. And there, there's, we can, we can tell that there's... My sister. 
<laughs> it's branches on the religious angle. Which part of religion? No, no, no. What, no, what I mean is that they might be coming from, uh, you know how people, people use spirituality to oppress other people and bully okay. other people. Okay, okay. So I think that's the angle they are coming from. They're using spirituality to oppress this woman and her children because... So let, let, me, let me rephrase my question yes. to you. Yeah. In the culture in Anambra, mm. is it possible for the, the family, the family yeah. to seize a corpse mm. and not allow the wife buried of the... So this is not about Anambra. This is all over Nigeria. Okay. Or this is Africa. <laughs> People do that. <laughs> and I don't believe any culture in Anambra or any part of Nigeria yes. allows anybody to seize anybody's corpse. Yes. I believe that when there's a family unit, husband, wife, children, the wife or the husband is the person that's in charge, that has authority over the, the, the spouse's corpse, Absolutely. right? So in situations like this, most of them, you find out that because the woman is crying or mourning, the brothers or sisters take okay. over, step in, right? And then most times it's not the wife or the husband that takes that corpse to the mortuary. Mm. It's supposed to be. But then they'll feel like, oh, you sit down at home, you just lost your husband. Let's, go and, let's carry the body to the mortuary. Let's go and sign. Because now person will sign in that corpse. We sign them out. Mm. That's, that's just the policy yeah. of all these places. I can't sign in the corpse and the other person will not come and and mm. take that corpse. They won't release that corpse mm. to that person. Mm. But mm. usually, the reason why the, uh, uh, wives don't, are not in charge of their husband corpses when the situation... Because they're not going to take care because they're busy crying. And that's yeah. why they always say in the African setting that if you lose a husband or you lose a wife, this is not the time to cry. Calm down. <laughs> Especially when you know the kind of family you married into. Mm. Especially when you know that you have three witches, like they just said, <laughs> as sister-in-laws. You should calm down. Arrange everything that you need to arrange. Check for your, the, the documents. Document. You have children. Make sure that your husband's corpse has been put in the right mortuary, that everything that they are taking care of him, go and visit the corpse every day to make sure that they are not putting after him on the floor. Now mourn. You, know, after, there's after time, the there's, you have a lot of you plenty lost time to mourn. You have plenty of time to mourn. Mm. You should take charge mm. get, 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 when something <laughs> happens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> no, but, you, you no, but I'm a lawyer and I've seen so many things happen and I've heard so many yeah. stories, right? Yeah. So I'm always yeah. supposed that that's not the time to mourn. Interestingly, and when my mom died too, you gave us the story of your auntie. Yeah, yeah. Of your auntie yes, now, that came in. Yeah, that was about the grand. Yes, spoke to her. But when my mom died mm -hmm. I was in I was in operational mode mm -hmm. even till now I've not had time to cry to mourn I've not had time to mourn because mm -hmm. whenever I think of her I just I just move something else but the truth is that that entire season mm -hmm. I was in the work mode yeah. to how do we get the burial yes so, so we saw that I, did, I was yes. just working we saw that I play out motion mm. until after it finished then I calm down, but I still have a moment. So I hear mm, you. Yeah. When you lose a spouse, yeah. it's not time to cry. No. Yeah. It's time to take charge. Yeah. I can totally agree with that. So now that um, she was crying and then the three witches swooped in and decided to take the cops. Mm. So what's the issue? Is their brother now? Let them chop the cops. Mm -hmm. What am I going to be dragging cops again? Hey, he has died. He's not his cops. Mm. The cops is the package that he came with. He has dropped it. Mm. His soul has gone. So why am I dragging cops? You take it now. Mm -hmm. Don't even call me for the burial. I don't care. Since you want to be crazy. See, it's not, um, mm. nobody has the monopoly of madness. Mm. Mm. We all can be mad, mm -hmm. but sometimes we just choose to, for the greater good, just step down and take a lot of things. And you see when it comes to all of this culture, especially with the very traditional cultures where we have the umuada, mm. those uh, kulagwe, all those people sitting down and waiting for them to, they've caught you now. Mm. Shebi, your own has died. It's time to deal with you. You were high flying in Lagos. You were high flying in Benin City. Now you have come to the village. Let us show you Pepe. Sometimes they forget that what we're dragging we're really not dragging anything mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, nobody is getting out of here alive. Nobody's getting out of here with anything. Mm -hmm. So why are you seizing onto a corpse Five years. of somebody that has died and you claim you love your brother? Mm -hmm. Because what I see here is sometimes some of these families are very pretentious. Mm -hmm. So while the person is alive, they go, yawa, 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 and they are claiming all of those things. You really know the family you are married into when one of the spouses die. That's when you see their red eyes. And then you forget all the love you claimed you had for either your son or your daughter. And you now start, again, sometimes they extend it to even the children, mm -hmm. why do the we, orphans. Why do we even put that value on that corpse? I mean, I like what you said earlier. Why, for, as, as Africans, and I think I like, also like what you said, that it's not just in one state, because here it's, an number has been highlighted, but it happens across the country. We put so much emphasis on the, the cops. cops. 
that give me the cops. Mm -hmm. Let me go and bury my dead. Mm -hmm. Let me go and bury. Mm -hmm. The person has already gone. Yeah. Whoever chooses to bury. Yes. Can, can go yes. and bury. You, you know what? Let me uh, give a little <laughs> insight to that. Yes. Aside from the sentimental attachment, most human beings do not see beyond the physical self. Mm -hmm. All they see is that all there is to you is just this. They don't see beyond. And so when something happens and they have to lose the because you have put all your hope on the physical, you think you have lost so much and you are grabbing onto what is not. So when you hear some people who now understand beyond the physical self, how they handle things, you hear people who say, I don't need to go and be spending so much on a burial. I'll give you a decent burial. I will just, you know, buy that, money, get that cups. It's not because they don't love the person. It's because they understand that everything I'm doing, I'm doing for me, not necessarily the person. The person has gone. Whatever you are doing in the burial, the person has gone. You are doing it for your ego. So that they will say that in this burial law, we kill 17 cows. Did the person chop one cow from you while the person was alive? So it's the emphasis we put on the physical self. And so we need to move away from that. I've always said on this table that culture is a way of life that we all created part time yeah. to help guide our lives. And we need to constantly review this way of life and take away the ones that no longer serve us. There were some cultures we had to come up with because at the time it, it, it worked for us. It protected us from certain things. But now, with changing times, it's no longer protecting us. Why are we still clinging onto that? Mm. Because we see that as our identity. This is who we are. So if we remove it now, we don't know who we are again. No. Again, on all sides, there are issues. Mm. Issue with the three sisters. Mm. Yeah. Issue with the, the witches. Wife, also claiming. Mm. Wants to do things. Yeah. She should relax. After five years. Yeah. It's anti Give them their cups. Yes. Let them chop it. You cannot move on because you are feeling bitter, injustice. You feel like you've been trampled upon. Mm. You built life with your husband and then suddenly somebody comes. One, she has lost her husband and mm. then she has lost every property that mm. she built with that husband and she's left with responsibility. Mm. And the coach in me will say, you, if you don't... If you don't push that aside, you will not move on. Mm. But the human nature of us will be like, there is, you want closure. You want to be able to say that. The, I, you didn't just trample on me and just go like that. You didn't just, I, I'm a human being, you're a human being. And because you just feel like, mm. because there are three of you and you have family support, you can then just take over everything I've worked for. Mm. So there's that pattern. And, and as long as she remains in that place, she will continue to complain. Even if it will be 10 years, she will continue. She hasn't let go. She needs to. She needs to find. She needs to give herself closure without their apology, mm. because they might never apologize, and they mm. might even die before they apologize. And you cannot pause your life on, until three people realize how wrong they are. They are. Because whether they are wrong or not, should not pause your own life. So I feel really bad that she's in this situation. Mm. What we've drawn as lesson is that we will at least, if, if anything happens now, open your eye as you they cry. Let your eye be open inside the cry. Pack <laughs> all the documents as you are crying. If you can pause the cry, self, pause it. Before oh. anybody will now take these documents. <laughs> even, even with parents, mm. because we're talking about it from this person perspective of spouse. Mm. Even if you, if someone's parent dies, now those are they cry, now they steal too. Yeah. So you have to open your eyes and be present. And if you don't get forgiveness, still move on. Mm. You have children now. This woman should yes. Leave the dead body has gone. Carry the spirit of your husband With and you. raise your children and build wealth. You don't need a man to build wealth. You will build. You will take care of the children by yourself. Mm. Okay, so for me, this is um, the time when community mm. community comes into play, right? The role of the community. Yes, because I want to believe that this man came from somewhere. Even yeah. if let's say he's not from. Okay, say he came from. They're from Nibu um, in Oka, uh, Oka South. Even if the man do not, does not even have a village, or it's like the people that don't go to the village, or is in Lagos, for, if you've lived in the community for so long, community has a say yeah. at every point in time. Let me speak for where I'm from. I'm from Onicha. I'm, I'm a proud Onicha, <laughs> Onicha woman, right? <laughs> in Onicha, you know, before, how they used to do the, the um, what's that thing they do the night before, the wakeeping. Mm -hmm. Then they wear all the ashwebi and stuff. They stopped all these things in Onicha mm. for burials yeah. because they feel that you should not impose so much hardship on the person, on, on, the person, on people that are loss. mourning, yeah. have suffered loss, who want to just bury their dead. So they've cancelled all the, You cannot even feed people during the burial. If you don't want to do all these things, if you don't say that, okay, we've arrived, okay, we can afford it, okay, we have the money, then come and pay a fine. So we are shabby. Mm -hmm. Come and pay a fine. 
to it's cook food. Can redefine yeah. culture. Yes, so you can redefine. That's what I'm talking about. They change that in Asaba too. Yes, yeah. Asaba too. Yeah. Come and pay fine to do. Yeah. Yes, to do all this, uh, all this, this like, okay. all these things. So like, uh, you have to pay that before you then. Go. Yes, if yes, not, if you want if to. If not, yes, if not, come and bury your dead quietly, quietly, yeah. and everybody goes. But if you now say you want to do it the big way, eh, so you, you will pay. You, right, you pay for it. You pay yeah. to where? Pay government. Yeah. You pay government. You put those things. That is how culture should evolve so that you don't oppress people. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, it, it, can, it can start here, but you, know, you people like, <laughs> you people like it. So when I went for my grand auntie's uh, burial, because I grew up in, in my hometown, Asaba, and I saw how burials were done, you know. So when I now went for my auntie's own a few years back, Everything was just hush, hush, right, quiet, yeah. quiet. There were no mother oh, collecting yeah. rice, mm -hmm. collecting money. There were no, sometimes they would stand you, kneel you down, you would do some rice. I didn't see that. So I was talking to my dad. I said, ah, Daddy, what happened? He said, ah, no, the Asaba of Asaba made a law. Yes, imagine that. That you don't do this. You just, you know, if you insist, like you just said, you have to pay extra to the government. Yes, the, the, the barrier was so quiet, mm -hmm. well, so done. And the, all the children came from Lagos. They've been in Lagos all their life. Everything, bye, 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 bye. next day, everybody was going back. Mm -hmm. To their place. Yes. <laughs> Everything was well planned. You don't eat. You're not even allowed to eat this. You take your takeaway packs. Yes, it was neatly. I was so impressed. Because the culture was very. It was, yes, it was very impressive. You don't like it, but tomorrow you are okay. Your body will shake everything. But let me take this cup of water. I'll talk to you. What's in your life? Thanks for calling. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, going back to this um, poor lady who's found herself in this situation, when you were talking about co um, the community, mm -hmm. I feel like we should be able to, there must be a, when you have, um, in Yorubas will have ballets, mm -hmm. they will have obas, that if you feel an injustice has been done to you, you can seek them out um, mm -hmm. um, for traditional things. At mm -hmm. least they understand the traditional things. While if it is a legal thing, like property being taken yeah. over, you seek out mm. the courts, you go to the court system. What I know about Many women the are not is that, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is that everybody is a, everybody is a, is a chief or everybody, there's no, they, they don't, they don't no, depend no, no. anybody. No, 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 no that's not true. Don't usually people yeah. say it when was there, but that's not true. What's the way it was like that Igbo people don't have a king, mm. but that's not true. Every community has a like a leader or yeah. has, there's still hierarchy. Yeah. Okay. It's not just as not central, just central okay. as like the north or yeah. the what south. What I is that, listen, everybody is a guy in his own place. Yeah. So I don't need to go no. to anybody to no. begging them for anybody. We have the chiefs, yeah. we have the elders. Oh, yeah. We have that, yeah. Because so I think, community yeah. can come to the support. support and we right. really need to re um, mm. choose community. Many, many women don't like going to court to go and pursue cases against mm. family members. You feel like, oh, family, if you go to court, you, um, what will not happen? Because long term, you have a long term relationship with them. You can, your children cannot get married without family members, at least in the cultural sense of it. Of it. So you now sue family to court. How will you now, when you need them for traditional wedding to come as family members, how would you resolve it? So some women would back out from well, doing it. Let your me call, take Katsina. From Tony from Katsina, you're live. Okay, Hello, Tony. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. I'm with you. I'm with you Can too. You go ahead. Me? All right, all right. We are with um, each other. I'm a first time caller. Welcome, Welcome to the show. show. Okay. Hey. Hey, uh, on this issue, we all have different experiences. I mean, make God's bread. I mean, I'm from the eastern part of the country, but I'm make God's bread and butter. And you're living in Castina, and okay? My, <laughs> nice. Yes, I'm, I'm in Castina. My issue is that some of us have had so nasty an experience with these people in the village to the point that I have made my own law. I have made my own law. Mm. I've buried my parents. It's always culture that they use to oppress people. And something informs my uh, decision. So when you say that uh, somebody was talking about uh, Asaba, I'm from that argument that um, they have to change the law. It was something that necessitated it. Yeah. So at this stage now, let me tell you, if for any reason, I don't know, the burial aspect, I'm not, I'm not really, I've buried my parents, no problem. But when it comes to giving my children out in marriage, my people there in CVC, no body born of a woman, and I repeat it, no body born of a woman can force me to go and give out my child in the village. Something informs my decision. I am the one nurturing them, I'm the one that has labored, 
I know what they did to my old father when he was giving us his own daughter, which is my sister. We have to do it and let me not go there. So please, all this cultural thing, if it doesn't work for me, it doesn't work for me. Mm. I live my life, I make my life. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about religion or anything. People bend this to suit their rubbish thing that they are doing. So for me, I do what is workable for me as long as I don't break the Nigerian law. That is my decision. If Thank you very much, like Tony. It, go to anywhere. Sorry if I sound a bit hard, but... Yeah. Thank you very much, Tony, because what Tony was saying opened another mm. area of this discussion. Um, the head of the family, the, the man of the house, he's mm. taking charge. You know, so <clears> he is <throat> taking charge, saying that as a father, he, he will not give out his, his daughter to, mm. he, will not, he will not succumb to anybody's rules or culture. Yeah. Well, that's his own reason. I agree. But there are people here who have, I, I know I've experienced this, remember, by in, in, in two cultures, no, two, the same culture, but two, two, two different religions. One said, when the baby is born, you have to shave the head. Mm. But that one says, no, you cannot no, we don't shave, don't head. shave head here. Mm. And then the two father-in-laws started fighting mm. oh, wow. over the fact that you're not shaving this baby's head. Say. Mm. That one said, we must shave it. It's part of our culture. Okay. Okay. And they're going back head to head. The owner of the child, uncle, the direct owner. The owner of the child was, was I think, was going with what his own father was. His own yeah. father is a Christian. She yeah. 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 exactly. can You know what she just said? Mm. This is a major it's heavy. one. It's a major one, heavy. It's a major one because... Yeah. Typically, you don't own your child, though. Well, me, yeah. you, you must, you don't own <laughs> your child. Yeah. Like, why? Yeah. Yeah. He's your, you collect name. Yeah. You collect name from grandfather, grandmother, mm -hmm. aunties, um, yeah. uncles. Everybody will send the names they yeah. want to name the child. Mm -hmm. And all those names mm -hmm. must come together. If, if in birth certificates, I know there are some people who like, you cannot put, if you don't put my name inside the birth certificate, as in like the father of... Where will you see the birth certificate? Uh -uh. They are your... They, you, <laughs> <laughs> you, can I say something, like Tope? When you rubber are doing the miss everybody, mm -hmm. they, you can have like 30 names because yeah. everybody will say, ah, I must add, I must add, add my own yeah. name. Yeah. So so can, can, so yeah, can I say? It's a beautiful culture. It's a beautiful culture, but we, <laughs> we must start it from <laughs> the beginning. You know, like how this uh, uh, seed sprouts. Mm -hmm. So the nuclear family is the first point of contact. And then it extends to the extended family. Mm. You have a problem where the extended family is in charge of what is happening in the nuclear family. You, the man in the question, and your wife, you have failed. The man, most especially, has failed that woman and her children. Where is uncles and aunties and grandma and grandpa that determines what happens in your home? So the name that you're going to call your children. Not be you help me carry on for nine months. Mm. Where you go bring, I will take your name mm. and they will mention all the names on that day. Mm. But I determine the name that comes into the certificate. Mm. I in fact, um, you, uh, you know when we're doing the naming ceremony and then my mm. <laughs> father-in-law will ask my husband, uh, where, where is the name now? What, which name are we go giving to so-and-so? So. Mm. My husband said, let me go and ask my wife. <laughs> I had my, the names of my children from NYSC. Mm. Mm. NY, yes. Okay. NYSC. Let me, let me so, okay, hold on. I'm going to commercial break. Oh, wow. I have a perfect story to also add to your story. <laughs>